try this quick tip to make your signature look better in your acrylic paintings. You may be tempted to try a paint pen to sign your name because your signature just never comes out right. The problem is when you use a paint pen or a paint marker, it's pretty obvious. Instead, try this. You've spent weeks perfecting your latest masterpiece. We don't wanna mess this thing up now with the signature. So if you've ever tried to sign your name with paint, you know it doesn't really come out quite how you want it to. So, oh, I'm gonna mess up my masterpiece by showing you. But if you try to move the brush like you would pencil out skips, as I do these loops, it skips it doesn't work like a pen. It's that, that, that's just, well, actually that is up to par with the rest of my artwork. So maybe that one's appropriate. But let me show you how to make your signature really look like your signature. First thing we're going to do is get a white charcoal pencil. This one is General's. It's amazing. I use it for everything. You wanna make sure that your canvas is completely dry before you move on to the next step. This will not work if that is not dry. Once you've figured out where you want your signature, and there's no set rule on it has to be on the left side, the right side, wherever you decide to go with, make sure that it's not going to be right along the edge of the canvas because when you frame this amazing masterpiece, the canvas will hit just along the edges. It'll cover that. So be make sure that you're up a little bit. And you can sign like you normally would with that charcoal pencil. Make sure I put the date. Everyone wants to know when I finished this amazingness. So there's my signature. Now, all I need to do is trace over that. Now, the next tool is to use a liner brush. This one's just a generic synthetic hog haired brush. Now we wanna make sure that we thin that paint with water. We don't want thick chunks on that paintbrush or it will not work. You're just going to trace over this. Now, here's the trick. Make a line, lift it. Don't try to make it go in one movement. Then I can come back and do the next curve. See how I do these in separate sections? Lift the brush, part, part of it. So you're basically able to do half a circle when you have a curve. Don't try to, to swirl it all the way around. Your brush is going to skip. And the rest of that A, lift. Then we've got the C, lift. Don't just come up and try to push that brush up to get the H, that won't work. Well, I don't know why you would be signing your name the same as mine, but you get the idea. Your name's probably spelled different. If not, it's a little weird. Now I've traced over that and it looks exactly like my signature should. Same thing as I come down here, see how half the circle, lift it, do the other half the circle, one brush stroke, the next. See, all of these are done in sections, in pieces. It's not one fluid motion, but I was able to draw in one fluid motion with the liner, or not the liner brush, the white charcoal pencil, which made everything really easy. Now, my next tip on this, make sure that this dries completely before you erase any bits of the charcoal that might be showing through. As a general rule, I let it dry overnight. Even if I've taken the hair dryer to it, I cannot tell you how many times I had little chunks, like that one right there, that took a little longer to dry and I took the eraser over it and smoothed much, had a big line going across the artwork. We don't wanna mess up this amazing masterpiece, so just make sure that that's dry all the way before you erase it. And overnight's what I go with. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, YouTube may or may not notify you when I have a new video go live. So don't forget to hit the notification icon and sign up for my email newsletter to be kept up to date with whatever new content I had go live that week.